Hi, welcome to AnimalSmith.com. And today I'm going to talk to you about chronographs. Now I got two chronographs for you. This one is the Crony Beta Master, and this one here is the Pact Model One chronograph. Now I've used both of them fairly extensively, and in my opinion, I think that the Pact Model One is more user friendly, although they both have their quirks. And I have the standard sky screens for both of them. However, they do sell infrared powered sky screens. They're about $250 US. And they both do a good job. However, there's a couple things that you need to understand. On this one here, on the beta master from Crony, if something goes wrong and this thing gets shot, the whole thing is just destroyed, it's fried. Although the nice thing about them now is this particular chronograph, the computer is up front with you. Before, it used to have the reading on the actual sky screen itself. So when you shot the thing, the whole thing was dead. Now, I'm pretty sure that Crony will sell you the sky screen separately. But of that, I am not sure. The instructions are very hard to understand for some reason. Now pack are a lot more uh, straightforward. So let me show you basically how a chronograph works. When you fire a bullet, it passes over the sky screen like this. Now in this sky screen here, these are 24 inches apart, and you buy the bar, the bar is separate. And what happens is it creates a shadow over this lens, and it starts a clock. Then it times the bullet as it passes over, when it creates a shadow over the second lens, it stops the timer and it does its calculation and it gives you the velocity. Here's the thing about chronographs. Unless the sun is directly overhead, like this light is, you're not going to get a good reading. I've shot my 308 over it in the summertime at about 9.30 in the morning. Error. Until about 10.30 I kept getting errors or these really weird um, readings. So once the sun was directly overhead, I started getting good readings. And the nice, the nice thing about the pack is it has a big digital readout, and it's fairly straightforward. It tells you the shot string. It says shot one, shot two, shot three. And then what you can do is push the buttons to get your standard deviation, um, your high, your low. It's really handy for hand loaders, and the reason is when you're looking at a load book, whether it's the Lyman, Sierra, you name it, they create these loads in laboratory conditions. Now, that laboratory could be at sea level or it could be at five or six thousand feet, who knows? But what this does, it tells you what your bullets are traveling at out of your barrel and your rifle. So when you're looking at a load and it says it's going to propel, let's say this 150 grain full metal jacket at 2,850 feet a second, but when you fire over your sky screen and you get your standard velocity of, say, 2,710 feet a second, you know that your rifle is not exactly the same as the other one. They could have had a 26 inch barrel where you had a 24 or your chamber is a little fatter which takes up space or adds space and the nice thing too is the standard deviation now that's your shot to shot spread the lower that number is the better now these things will calculate between I think 50 feet a second or 100 feet a second and 6,000 feet a second this one here I tried with an air rifle on the pack it wouldn't pick it up, whereas the crony would. Now I'll use both of them in tandem. I'll set one up here and set my other one off right behind it so I get two readings out of two different machines. Now when you look at the bottom of this bar, you see a little hole there. That's a quarter inch thread for a standard camera tripod. And there's a reason why I don't have to set up my tripod right now, and it's because my tripod had an accident. 
So I need to get a new tripod. Now with this guy here, he has the exact same thing. Except for his hole is in the bottom of the actual unit itself. Now the nice thing about the crony is it all packs up in this little guy here. The computer fits inside and it uses a 9 volt battery. And I believe the 9 volt battery actually goes in here. It's been a little while since I used this guy. So when you take your sky screens off, they go into the box. And these guys break down like this. Then these rods come out. They come apart. And this whole thing folds up. You're ready to go. This on the other hand, you just take the sky, the uh, the sky screens as is on this bar and the diffuser which is nice and what it does is it makes these diffusers make the sunlight come in evenly now when I get the money I'm going to get the infrared sky screen so I don't have to worry about sunlight now with crony just like anything else there's an umbilical cord that goes between the box which clicks in right here, and this guy. And you want to keep your um, chronograph at least 10 feet away from a handgun and 15 feet away from a rifle, depending on how big the rifle is that you're using. Now the 50 caliber, we try to get this thing about 20 feet away because that has a big mobile blast. Now what will happen is if you get it too close. Well, when the bullet leaves the barrel, you get bits of unburnt powder and hot gas flying forward. If too much of that comes screaming out, it'll give you a false reading because it'll indicate over one of these little lenses here. And that's pretty bad. Also, if you have a set standard, my set standard is 15 feet. I take my tape measure, I measure out 15 feet from the muzzle, drop a little plumb bob, make my mark, set my tripod up, and I'm ready to go. Then. All I need is a range master out there to look down the bore of the rifle while I'm down range to make sure I'm not going to shoot through this damn thing. So, once you get this set up, it's pretty straightforward. And in the back of the pack Model 1 is your battery box. When you turn it on, it'll say packed it'll warm up then it'll say fire. When it fires you will see it think and it'll either throw you an error reading or it'll give you a velocity reading. Now here's one thing about the pack that I had to do and that is to put a piece of tape here because on the back it says start and stop. Well if I try to keep this screen here on my front screen, so the one with the white tape goes here. The one that without the white tape goes there. And there's plenty of cord here to go around. And this is your introduction to chronographs. And what we're going to do is, when I get a new tripod, I'm going to take you guys to the range with me and I'm going to show you how this thing works. This is great for low development.